Unveiling the Universe's Giant The Discovery of the Largest Black Hole Ever Found Welcome back to Science Today. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the discovery of one of the largest black holes ever found, using a space-time trick predicted by Albert Einstein himself. Now, let's dive in. 1. Discovery of the Ultramassive Black Hole Astronomers have recently discovered an ultramassive black hole. That is roughly 30 billion times the mass of our Sun. This colossal black hole is located 2.7 billion light-years away from Earth. In the brightest galaxy of the galaxy cluster Abel 1201. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is the method used to detect it. Gravitational lensing, a technique based on Einstein's theory of general relativity. 2. Einstein's General Relativity and Gravitational Lensing According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, massive objects warp the fabric of space-time. This curved space sets the rules for how energy and matter move. When light travels through an extremely curved region of space-time, it follows a curved path, warping and twisting until it emerges. As a stretched-out arc called an Einstein ring, this effect, known as gravitational lensing, can be used to detect faint celestial objects that might otherwise be invisible. 3. The process of discovering the black hole. The team of researchers, led by Dr. James Nightingale from Durham University, UK, used gravitational lensing to observe a giant arc of warped light from a background galaxy. This light had been stretched and distorted by the immense gravitational field of the ultramassive black hole. By analyzing high-resolution images from the Hubble Space Telescope and running simulations on the Dirac COSMA-8 supercomputer, the researchers were able to determine the size of the black hole based on how it had bent the light. 4. Significance of the Discovery The ultramassive black hole is one of the largest ever detected, sitting at the upper limit of how large black holes can theoretically become. This exciting discovery not only sheds light on the existence of these cosmic monsters, but also opens up new possibilities for studying their growth and impact on the universe. Gravitational lensing can be particularly useful for studying inactive black holes, which do not produce the light and radiation typically used to detect them. 5. Future Implications Dr. Nightingale and his team believe that using gravitational lensing could help detect many more black holes beyond our local universe, revealing how these exotic objects evolved throughout cosmic history. This method also has the potential to uncover far more inactive and ultramassive black holes than previously thought, allowing researchers to investigate how they grew to such enormous sizes. With the development of future large-scale telescopes, we can look forward to even deeper exploration of the mysteries of black holes. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Science Today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.